taking out the rest of what was Chipotle's original main, so Chipotle's going to have to rebuild, which he, uh, which he will start doing soon, I believe. And if you'll notice, up at Chipotle's top expansion, he was trying to make some Ancients of War there, too, um, making sure that he fortifies everything he's got. Just large amounts of Ancient, Ancients of War to uh, counter the tanks, and you'll see what he does. Up at his Tree of Eternity, he just he moves to surround his Tree of Eternity with his Ancients of War. This is just going to be his uh, his answer to the tanks for the time being. And again, Chipotle using his staff of te staff teleportation to good effect, setting himself up to um, his top expansion to make sure that it stays alive. What we're seeing here is just very, very, very active play um, by Chipotle, always using all of his uh, resources and his uh, and the items at his disposal to his advantage. Now up up near Chipotle's Tree of Eternity, we can see why the Ancients of War are so good in combination with the bears um, and a little bit of a uh, little bit of micro, a little bit of eating trees. The Ancients of War make quick work of those tanks. It's fun to see tanks die, isn't it? It's nice to see that not just run over things. And that number of Ancients of War will get the job done. You can even surround them, <laughs> like Chipotle did there. So he successfully fought off that attack on his expansion. And uh, Chipotle is now getting ready to do another Metamorphosis hit on uh, on Holy Human's top expansion, which he will do as soon as he uh, has Metamorphosis back, I believe. So uh, Chipotle fighting off the attack at top um, with his Demon Hunter and fighting off the attack at Tree of Attorney with the rest of his stuff. So now he still lists to fight another day with his two expansions. And now he's uh, <clears throat> going to try to get back onto the offensive again. You'll see uh, Chipotle is just rebuilding at his Tree of Attorney with Moonwells and his Hunter's Hall. And now with Metamorphosis again, he has started his uh, Metamorphosis push on the top side. <clears throat> Metamorphosis, um, as you will continue to see, is incredibly key. You can watch how those peasants uh, peasants die to uh, just a simple, simple Demon Hunter. Um, and uh, you can watch all the towers taking damage. Um, and slowly but surely, he will uh, he will eventually take down those towers. If you look to the bottom side of the map, um, Chipotle was able to see uh, Holy Human's expansion attempt, um, or at least predict it. I'm not sure if he had a wish down there, but he was able to uh, to figure out that that Holy Human was going for yet another expansion. And this is something you always, always, always need to be aware of against human players, especially in this late game scenario when they're going workshop units. Any time that you don't see the Archmage uh, is is fair game for the human player to be expanding, and so you always need to be considering that as a possibility. Um, and that Archmage was quiet for a little too long, and Chipotle probably realized there was another expansion coming. Um, and there was only one logical place it could be, and he went straight to it. And was able to stop an expansion attempt from the human. It seems like a small thing in a game that's like this large of this scale, but every little thing counts, and it's it's doing lots of little things correctly. That uh, that end that ends up winning you. It's not you can't just win it all at once. It's just a bunch of good. It's it's just a bunch of small victories. So you can see up top that uh, Chipotle's previously well defended expansion with his Demon Hunter and his Ancient of War uh, died very very quickly to mass flying machines, which Chipotle does not have a counter for right now, um, as he has been massing Ancient of War. But if you look Ancients of War, but if you look back at his Tree of Eternity, he has already started creating a protector, um, and two more are now constructing, and he will send his Demon Hunter home to. Uh, to fight those uh, flying machines as to, and to ensure that his protectors get up. Um, so Chipotle, having lots of Ancients of War to counter, counter the tanks, as soon as he sees a flying machine, is now switching to make lots of Ancient Protectors. And all of this, all of this might seem like it's a lot of work to do, but, but it is necessary. Every scrap of it is necessary to make sure that you stay alive so that you counter everything the human can throw at you. Lots of Ancients of War and now lots of Ancient Protectors. Um, and all of a sudden, you're, you'll you will finally be able to stop all of the workshop units. If you look at the top side of the map, Chipotle is expanding again, this time with protectors to stop the uh, stop the air onslaught. And uh, Demon Hunter with Staff of Town Portal, uh, Staff of Teleport rather, still still becoming Chipotle's most useful tool, or still still remaining Chipotle's most useful tool um, in terms of fighting off these workshop unit the attacks. It's all important. And if you look at the bottom side of the map, um, Chipotle is again expanding where he stopped an expansion attempt by the human. 
it's often not a bad idea just psychologically. If the human clears an expansion and then uh, and then fails to expand there himself, uh, sometimes he won't check it. Um, and if you expand there, it might go unnoticed for a while. Something to bear in mind. Of course, that isn't always true. It's just something that I've noticed. Little tip. Um, and so now, uh, Chipotle has his Tree of Eternity fairly well defended with his Protectors and his uh, Demon Hunter. His top expansion seems to be going up on her ass, so he's going to use the rest of his units to get back on the offensive and go right back after that top expansion of Holy Humans. Just using his, uh, his Keeper and his Bears to again go after the Towers. Um, and now he's going to bring, now that the uh, Flying Machines are safely away, he's going to bring his, uh, his Demon Hunter up there too. You'll also notice that he just finished making three Ancients of Winds, because why not? Uh, he's staying below 50 food, he has a ton of resources, and it's important um, in the event that you need them uh, to have every uh, unit production building available at your disposal. Um, if you have the resources to do it, go for it. And those Ancients of Winds, if he needs to start pumping Hippogriffs, um, will, become, uh, will become very, very useful. And on the top right, again, we see the Demon Hunter becoming very, very useful against the... Uh, against the flying machines. Those are three three flying machines for those of you who are paying attention to that sort of thing. Um, and a protector and a demon hunter alone is able to kill about 12 of them in combination with a uprooted tree and uh, and wisps. So just so you know um, that this kind of thing um, actually is enough to stop the uh, stop the flying machines fairly effectively. Chipotle just refusing to let any of, any of his expansions die using every every tool that he has available again. And now he's actually starting to pump those Hippogriffs um, from the Ancients of Wind, so he will have a, a more tangible counter. Um, in addition, he's also seen a Zeppelin. And, uh, excuse me for a second. The second you see a Zeppelin in a game like this, um, there's, and especially if there are flying machines involved, there's no reason not to, not to make at least one Ancients of Wind. Ancient of Wind, especially if you have the resources available. Um, if you can catch that Zeppelin out in the open, um, a free hero kill is always nice. And it's always good to put pressure on the Zeppelin just uh, with a with a Hippogriff, just to, uh, just to make sure that he doesn't do some nasty harass on you flying over the trees. Um, so, once again, the Demon Hunter Metamorphosize is going to, uh, going to run to uh, Holy Human's uh, often contested North Expansion, um, and, uh, and be the, uh, answer to the towers. One thing, one thing you might have picked up from this game is that the bears themselves have not been enough to take down the towers, but the metamorphosized Demon Hunter, that does the trick. Just something to bear in mind as you, uh, as you think through these games yourself. Your building is You'll notice on the south side of the map that Holy Human is doing something very clever, which is he's noticed, um, noticed Chipotle's expansion, um, and he only has peasants down there, so he's choosing to use those expansion to set up some towers, um, sort of offensively, which will eventually turn into defensively if he's able to uh, successfully take over that expansion. Um, so Chipotle with the metamorphosized Demon Hunter finally able to uh, take out all the towers at the top expansion um, and neutralize that. The other thing that you want to bear in mind here is that as soon as the Zeppelin comes into play, the corner expansions are a possibility, um, and Chipotle will be bearing that in mind. Um, in short order, Chipotle, Chipotle continuing to uh, to use the middle and rally his, rally his bears to the middle. Can't forget to do that at any point in the game. And you'll notice that uh, that Holy Human having his uh, flying machines countered has now switched back to tanks. Um, and as such, uh, Chipotle has uprooted his even his protectors. Um, 